What is it about good, about God, that makes him good? God's moral properties do not follow from his natural powers, his omnipotence or his omniscience, nor do they follow from the fact that he created the universe or even that he created us. It is certainly conceivable that the creator of the universe was a powerful, intelligent tyrant who issues commands of his own. If the term good is not just an empty epithet that we attach to the creator, who or whatever that turns out to be, then it must be that the facts about what is good are independent of the other facts about God. If good is to have normative force, it must be something that we can understand independently of what is commanded by some powerful, omnipresent being. Another thing that defenders of divine command theory might say is that we can infer that God is good by looking at the kinds of things that he has, in fact, commanded. Now, I actually think this is a slightly dangerous strategy since there's at least some textual evidence that God has commanded some pretty bad things, but I'll say more about that in a minute. God's commands, they say, show that God loves his creatures and commands only what is good for them. But this reply also misses the point. Either the words love and good in this context have non-normative meanings, as in, I love animals, I think they're delicious, in which case we again would have no moral basis for obeying God, or the words love and good have normative meanings, in which case we once again presuppose that we can make sense of what is objectively good independently of what God commands. In short, it has to be God's goodness that gives us a reason to obey him or to worship him, and not the mere fact that he exists. But then goodness has to be a substantive property and not an empty formal term that is defined as just whatever way God happens to be. The view that I defended in my opening speech is the view that traditionally theists have taken, namely that God wills something because he is good. That is to say, what Plato called the good just is the moral nature of God himself. God is by nature, loving, kind, impartial, fair, just, and so on. He is the paradigm of goodness, and therefore the good is not independent of God. Moreover, God's commandments are a necessary expression of his moral nature. His commands to us are therefore not arbitrary, but are necessary reflections of his character. And therefore, it makes no sense to ask, if God were to command us to eat our children, would it be right to eat our children? Because this proposition has an impossible antecedent, and therefore no non-trivial truth value. It's like wondering, if there were a square circle, would its area be the square of one of its sides? The question just has no meaningful answer because it's logically incoherent. Now, Dr. Antony has some intimation of this third alternative, for she recognizes that theists will say that God's nature is essentially good. Well, it's not exactly the point. Rather, the point is that God's nature determines what is good. For more information about the Veritas Forum, including additional recordings and a calendar of upcoming events, please visit our website at veritas.org.